Lucky now by the looks of things, we've got enough sun and uh, the wind's in the right direction, so hopefully, they should fly fairly well today. Guys, we've been here in the bird 23 years. Uh, our main and primary goal here is to create some awareness, educate around birds of prey. The secondary function is one of a rear center. So, many of the birds you see around you, like that one up there, for instance, have been here for years and years. I think that one's been there 21 years. He was yeah. shot, it's basically not released. Other birds of prey are a lot luckier, they come in with minor injuries. Over a short period of time, maybe four to five weeks, you can actually return them back for a while. The biggest problem we have here is when a bird comes in and it's got a sick while in the tree crates. So if you take, a, let's say, a falcon and you put him in a cage like that, for four to five weeks, he can't exercise. So although the wound or whatever the, the, the ailment might have healed, if you then just open the door, the bird goes out, he's unfit, and he's gone. Work out which is the best angle then. You want to land into it. So just trying to work out, it's okay, that's just like a good angle there. There we go. Oh! 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 Watch out, he's hiding. This guy's kind of got to see his approach. He doesn't want to know where he is. He's right down there. Yeah, I think he goes far. So they can accelerate pretty quick. Now he's just going to try a different angle. Watch, he's coming. Yeah, he's coming. Yeah, he's giving that chicken neck and give it to me now. So the idea is, guys, you want to almost smell the KFC on every pass. Okay? <laughs> get the timing right, you flip it up here. <laughs> now, folks, obviously, if he was coming from big height, he'd be coming incredibly quick. So he's low level flying, so he's still fast. No way near. Whoa! So when you think he's got enough flying, you give it to him, guys. Just drop it down like that. Okay, now, folks. Uh, you can straight past it. <laughs> yeah, it's yours. You didn't see it. He knew where it was. So now he's coming into the cab. Got it this time? And it takes off again. Sorry about that. Now, folks, this is purely a means of exercising the bird. You've got to watch him. When he looks like he's getting bored of the game or tired of it, before he gets despondent and lands, you reward him. And then every day, bit by bit, you just make him fly a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see, although he has a long time, he's done that. Throw him a bone short. When we're ready, we'll just let him catch it. Because you'll see he's going to be panting, guys. He's already had enough work. One more time like this. Now we just drop it and we leave it. Yeah, and just grab it or strike it. 
Alright, oh. oh, try to carry it. Try to do a little Kentucky drive through. There we go. Watch your eyes panting, guys. No, he's panting. No, he's panting. Right. That's amazing. What's it? No, you can right. see, guys, he's like a cheater that's just had a hard run. But like any exercise, you tell the fitness out about how quickly the animal or the, or the, the person recovers because he's eating already. And that just shows you a pretty fit little falcon. So guys, what he's busy eating there is a chicken egg. Obviously a chicken stands about this tall. But watch how effortlessly he's biting through that neck. Every bite is simply seven. And that is the falcon's secondary means of killing. If he strikes a bird and it's not dead, he'll break the neck. Guys, an audience member just pointed out, if you look above us here, way up in the sky above you, there goes our first Cape Vulture of the day. That bird's got a two meter wingspan, so it's a monster big bird just passing over. Okay, let's put him away, and we'll fly our fishing ball. Well done, that was good. Guys, if she goes hard left past me and dives towards you, just use the universal rule of survival, you all know what that's at. Make sure there's someone fat or slow behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't get grabbed. He has actually grabbed the person for at least a week, but we didn't fly last week. <laughs> Jokes aside, guys, as long as we've got these rakes now, she's safe. That male fishing out there, he was shot 21 years ago, raised by normal parents. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he knows he's a fishing girl. Watch, watch how he's going to call to her. He says he's calling already. He just can't understand why she won't answer. But obviously, she just doesn't know she's evil. You'll see, he can't help himself. Every time he goes, she goes within about 200 meters of him, he'll call. So we're going to try and get to her down. She doesn't want to go down the other side. Okay, it's just tough, guys. This bird has worked out. Hey, there's not much sun. She saw how the small little eagle battled it. She's like, I don't want to go here. I'm going to go hang out the other one. So what Alice is going to do, guys, she's going to coax this bird into the air. So she's going to show it some food. But watch how even Alison uses that stunt. She's going to hide behind that stunt when she pulls the needle off. Come on, big girl. You're not that bad out there. Guys, get down the stunt. She wants to make a whole human in Alison. Okay, so now you can see she's heavy and she's laboring. She's saying, oh, the air is so dead, guys. Obviously, on an overcast day, guys, the fishing will still hunt. But then they'll just find a perch. And they still hunt. They'll sit on their cliff or telegraph pole or whatever. Guys. Overlook in the river and they just wait for yeah. the fish to be gliding. Yeah. Yeah. The horse glides, but he needs to stand back. Watch this dog watching her here, guys. Watch out, big John. Oh. It's not just me, okay? We'll do two more circles. Take the towel for the end. Donkey, you're ready. You're going to get the chicken next to you. He's a side ball. Watch him beside our angle there. Okay, John, you ready? Three, two, one, race. So now she's coming, he's in position, and let's see you get my chicken out. Donkey's actually a bit scared of the eagle these days, guys. No, baby. No. Watch your fingers. Yo. Over the dog, watch your try to stop her. Hey. Oh, well done. Now watch how Donkey's back for a chicken out. Mike! She's gone. Watch your eyes, Donkey. Watch your eyes. Oh, oh, she dropped it up on the floor. She'll jump down and reclaim it. Oh, it tastes like sandpaper in the sand, but anyway. There you go. Now, oh, folks, that's a matter of interest. Watch how she eats that next. She'll grab it with her foot, normally. And then those razor sharp claws actually impale the food. And then she holds it down and rips the food. Um, at our level, she hasn't got a strong beak like a parrot, so they use a ripping motion rather than a biting motion. And you'll see, once she comes up onto the stump when she's finished, because she thinks that Alison's her mate, every single time Alison calls to her, she'll call back. And then you know the bird has been imprinted by humans from the wrong age. You eat like boarding school people, so they trouble the ground. Okay, just swallow it, there we go. Okay, okay we'll do a fish call for you guys. Yeah, they're like, they're like a razor, yeah. razor base. Oh, they're... <laughs> 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 
Oh, now, folks, it's a real pity because on a normal sunny day, these vultures don't fly incredibly high, but even if they get up to 100 foot and they do three or four slow circuits above you like they would in a thermal, and then they land. If you then look in the sky above you, within five to ten minutes, you'll see wild vultures arriving at the center. The reason for that, guys, is a vulture can see another vulture 20 kilometers away. So the wild cape vultures passing along the escarpment, see these ones land, they give up the, the, the body language for three times, and then the wild ones actually come to show. Today, as I say, most vultures are going to be sitting at home on the trip, so the chance of calling them in are pretty remote. Just come and feed them up the other. Call them up there, let's just walk up here for a bit. Yeah, he'll walk back up here. It's a non-flying day for him. <laughs> Guys, these vultures are big and heavy. They weigh about eight, nine kilos. So they'd much rather just walk up to some. Watch that one's going to try and go down. Find some lift and turn back. That can backfire on a day like that. <laughs> you see, grinding into the cave. That's just enough. I should make it home. And I, he was not going to make it home. Watch this. It's going to crash out. Just make it back there. <laughs> They're trying to just force food out of Robin. <laughs> Guys, you notice this vulture here as he jumps up onto that stump. If you look carefully, right between his wings, he's one of the lucky South Africans who's got a little solar panel. <laughs> you see the little solar panel attached in there? Right in between his feathers with the top here. You can see it sticking out. <laughs> and folks, that little solar panel is busy charging a GPS transponder. Very much like the tracking unit you have in your car. So you can open up your iPad and it will tell you where this vulture is anywhere from South Africa. And just a brilliant way of tracking it. Watch how they dance, guys. They're coming into battle now. Who's the biggest, who's the strongest, and then they just start picking. And you'll notice Ross is going to stay out there as well, which is, I think, he's trying to compete for a tank out of him as well. Guys, a vulture's beak is incredibly, incredibly powerful. These birds can eat three kgs of steak in four minutes. So those beaks are made for just chunk, just don't let them bite people out. Uh, easy, easy, easy. That's why it's easier just to have food with Robin. No, he's going to try again. Guys, no, that bird is, is, is one of the least lazy vultures we've ever had. He always tries. No, he's a young one. He's, he's, la he's learning to fly. He's enjoying it. Too bad. These guys don't want to fly, so we'll be watching someone else. Yeah. Folks, the reason these vultures have to kill for themselves, they haven't got powerful feet like an eagle. So they actually can't kill. They have to wait for the animal to die, and only then do they clean up the, the area. Watch it, that's liver, guys. Watch how quick that goes down the hatch. Go on, just like that. Just give them a couple more. Watch how chunky is keen to just pass up, but he just knows that it's not worth the risk. Okay, let's put them to bed. Let's pass them out. Guys, you can see what they're doing, they're like, it's almost like an Easter egg hunt. They're looking for that bucket, there it is there. That bucket has got the magic food in, and once that bucket comes out, it's feeding frenzy. Now watch Chonky in the periphery there, guys. He desperately wants to get in there, but he just knows. Rather just stay away, it's safer to, to wait for people. Sorry about that, John. steady, watch out your point. She'll just look at that falcon and she'll almost become like a statue. She's a bit naughty, she actually wants to catch that falcon. But the falcon's quite happy to play the game. Watch this, guys. It won't fly off at, at, at an angle. It will drop almost into a dog's nose. Steady, Bailey. You're not going to chase. You're going to be such a good dog today. We know she's going to chase. Steady. Steady. Watch the falcon's going to tease her now. It'll drop right in on it. <laughs> now, folks, let's just see if this falcon can get up. You'll notice he's flapping, she's flapping really hard. So what she's saying is, Greg, if there are no thermals, I'm prepared to climb to a certain height. It has to. She's on her way, look how she's home already. She was there, now she's home, she's slowing yeah. down, yeah, she's right over your head. Yeah. Yeah. Through the gap, yeah. 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 No, that's a crow. Guys, I, I, I just not that bird didn't get our second gear. Yeah. Now he's all exposed out there. You've got long crested eagles going back to castle. You've got a peregrine falcon on the pole. He's rather exposed. But 
if everybody knows the spotted eagle owl, they're the grey bird with the yellow eye, and they do a forest. Cooey, being a cape eagle owl, is more a blondy looking bird with orange eyes. He doesn't do a forest. First, he's going to land on that sandstone rock. We're going to see how the camouflage works. Cooey! Hit the road! And see why Greg doesn't do owls. Everything just takes longer. We've got camouflage there already. Of course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Woo -wee. Mm -hmm. Woo -wee. Oh. You'll see he starts doing his little triangle dance. Folks, all that, he's judging how far the chicken is away from his nose. <laughs> Yeah, here he comes. Amazing. Did you get it? That's so cool. No, Hughie. You're not Look at him. He's gorgeous. He's right. Who's saying hello to you again, Ruth? Yes. As he lands on the first boat that comes aboard, he's supposed to be hard and land on the stump. Hughie is turning 17 this year, folks. So now he trains the trainer. By landing on the grass, he's getting one more piece of chicken. Yeah. He's going to turn and have a look at you. Can you say, hey, hey. <laughs> no. Oh, it turns a lot. Can you see those bunny ears sticking off his head? Yeah. Those aren't his ears, they just called ear tufts. When he looks at you, there's dark feathers on the outside of his face. That's where the ear holes are in the skull. And the hole are not parallel, it's called asymmetrical hearing. One ear hole higher than the other, one hole bigger than the other. He's on his lamp post, a rat or mouse starts scratching 30 meters out in the felt. He does his little triangle dance. The sound hits the face, he triangles it. That's why folks, that snowy eagle owl that lives in the, up in the pole. And he's sitting on his, his only exposed rock. And for as far as the eye can see, is just a blizzard of snow. And you think, how does he eat? All of a sudden, the dance happens. He goes off in a glide, he puts his feet into the snow and pulls out a lemon. He actually echolocates. Yeah, oh, All superheroes have an Achilles heel. With your owl, that eye is so big that it's fixed into the socket. So he can't swivel inwards to see what's at his feet. He can see a long distance, but in the first six to eight inches of his nose, everything is a blur. <laughs> and then he reverses. He's got little whiskers around his beak like a barbel feeling in the mud. So he knows the difference between hand and chicken. But he has to reverse to see I'm not hiding anything in my hand. <laughs> He's not doing this. Try and see that. Stand on the floor. He's going to reverse to see if I'm hiding anything. Come here. So we'll hide chicken at his feet and we'll see if he can spot it. flapping in your ears. So the owl's being blessed. That leading edge of the no, wing has got a far the path the true side of the mouth. Move so slow-mo. Three, two, one, 